Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here at the Pacific Yacht HQ. <laughs> All right, so we've got a fellow boater asking us a question. So Brad asks, Jeff, you say fuse the alternator at the battery. If that fuse blows, won't it toast the alternator? I'm installing a Blue Sea circuit battery switch and an ACR. The alternator is 55 amps with an internal regulator. Brad. Brad, that is a phenomenal question. Honestly, uh, great question. And it's a dilemma that we face every day, right? Alternators, especially if your alternator is directly connected to a battery, which in most of our cases won't happen because generally the alternator is directly connected to the star solenoid. But if you've decided to take an upgrade or, and wire your alternator directly to an engine battery or house battery, and there's merits to both depending, that alternator circuit needs to be fused at the battery. So what happens if the fuse blows? Well, if the fuse blows, yes, and your alternator is working, you will lose your alternator. Meaning lose, not physically lose, but your alternator will blow up. But why did the fuse blow in the first place? The fuse is there to protect the wire from an accidental short. And you've got to remember, alternators um, are this sort of dangerous device. You know, it's a device that has 12 volts and has also got zero volts, right? The most alternators are either grounded or grounded through the case. And it's possible that the alternator positive post breaks, I've seen that happen, and the cable falls onto the alternator case and causes a dead short. And so the fuse is there to protect the wire. And so yeah, you might lose your alternator, but if the fuse was in there, you have lost your boat. And so it's a question of not worrying about losing your alternator, it's a question of being happy to have saved your boat and not having caused a fire on your boat. If the fuse on your alternator blows, you gotta really ask yourself, how the hell did that happen? Because the wire should be enough amperage uh, to handle easily the loads coming from the alternator. The fuse should be rated at least 1.25, so the maximum output of the alternator. And so if it blew, that means that you had a serious event happen on that wire and you gotta be curious and you gotta look for it. And yes, your alternator might blow, but who cares? Because ultimately you save for a fire on board your boat. So fusing is not only for the appliance, it's also for the wire, and it's there for our safety on boats. Super critical, super important. i big fan of fusing every single circuit on a boat, except the starter circuit. And an alternator is not a starter, hence it should also be fused. So that's a great question for Brad. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad-free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. That way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.